hey you guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a glance into my life so by the title of this video you guys know that your girl have been through some stuff okay she's been through some stuff and i wanted to give you guys an update because it was actually requested someone asked me and i'm going to go back and find her video and i'll insert her name she asked me to give a life update so i want to give you a life update and a lot of the things that i have been through may help you guys I will share as much as I can with the different situations that I'm talking about. It may be a long video. I'm going to try not to make this a long video. But I promise you in this video you guys will learn why I have not been uploading consistently like I should have you guys because I was going through some things okay and I was trying to figure out this thing called life and then also my health okay and that was a huge 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 chunk of why i was not uploading consistently so i'm going to share some things i may not go into full-blown details because a lot of it's personal a lot of things that i just not want to put on the internet anything like that but i will share as much as possible and you guys if you have any questions you can leave them down below any concerns down below and i will answer them you guys so let's get into this update okay So, obviously, it is, as of right now, April 2021. We're going to take it back to January 2019. That's what we're going to take it back to. So, actually, February 2019. We're going to take it back to February 2019. Now, before that, you guys, I had noticed some changes with, like, um my arms they had cleared up i was not having as many flare-ups as i was um you know it was getting better i didn't have um any situations flare-ups like on my skin or anything like that i was like a-okay and then i had just moved so i was like a-okay things was good and hearing the word move is an important thing because later on it will come into forefront of why i'm sharing the part that i move and that i was like okay no flare-ups you know getting back into the swing of things okay so also in 2019 may 2019 i graduated from hampton university and i was so excited everything you know was like moving grooving looking really really good started job hunting filled out so many applications you guys for all of my students especially the brown ones who are graduating college if you are putting in job applications and it seems like you are not getting no responses back or you may get a response back and they may not choose you know that you are not alone a lot of people put in hundreds of hundreds of applications after they graduate college and it take anywhere from up to six months to a year before they get a job offer so just know that you are not alone just know a lot of people are going through that situation as well but having your degree was not something that you should regret no having your degree is a must you did it you work hard you achieved it so be proud of your degree it will pay off okay so I put in a lot of different job applications. I actually did two interviews. Um, one of the companies wanted me, but then when I did some more research, it was a situation where I had to walk away because it was too many lawsuits on um, sexual harassment and rapes and stuff. And I did not want to get in that. It was a new company. That's all I'm going to say. I didn't want to get involved in none of that. So I walked away from that. Also, that would have required me to relocate to, you know, a new area and being in a new area, you don't know nobody. I don't got time for none of that, okay? So, relocate, all that. So, I personally turned that position down. Um, continue to do different things. I decided that, you know what, I'm working as freelance, doing different administrative stuff, 
why don't I start looking into turning my freelance work that I do into a full blown business. So that is when I start looking into those things. And then come November 2019, as I'm researching that, you know, just enjoying life, working part time, I end up getting sick. 2019 November. So what happened was I hit my leg on the table, not paying attention late at night. Everything was fine. A couple of days later, my leg was completely inflamed, couldn't walk on it, had a huge bruise on it. So end up going to the doctor. They end up giving me some antibiotics and they was like, all this happened, I put some pictures in. All this happened from you just hitting your leg like they thought I had gotten a car accident. All of those things, okay? They gave me antibiotics. It healed. I was able to move on. Next thing you know, December come, you guys. And it went into my foot. I could not walk. It was horrible. I was in a lot of pain. So finally, my mom was like, we need to go to the doctor. We need to, actually, she said, no, we need to go to the hospital. We need to go to the hospital. I'm like, I did not want to go to the hospital. It was late at night. Did not want to go to the hospital. But she was like, no, we need to go to the hospital. You can't walk. Your foot is swelled up. And we was doing everything, you know, to get a swollen foot down, ice, heat, all that stuff. So went to the hospital and they was like, it was in your leg and now it's in your foot and this was my left leg and i was like yes and it was just like okay what happened again it was the same doctor what happened again i told him they did an x-ray and basically you guys it was infected really really bad he said that i made it to the hospital just in time before they would have to amputate my foot okay so i thank god my mama made me go to the hospital okay because i did not want to be without a foot so i went to the hospital and this was right around the time that the talk of covid was happening you know december and they people was talking about it what was going on and then obviously you know coming to january february march you know we went into lockdown come march lockdown all that happened so but go back January 2020, I enrolled into my master's program. I only did one semester, you guys. Um, I just, going straight back to school just wasn't the right thing for me because it had took me so long to get my bachelor's, not because I wasn't doing the right thing, but because financial wise, it took me so long and then different things happening where people try to hinder you. Um, I just needed a break and I shouldn't have jumped right back into it. So I took a break off from that. And then like I said, COVID happened and being in the house and you know, dealing with that, which it didn't bother me being in the house cause I'm like a house body, but you get bored you guys really quick, really fast. So all of those things, you know, different changes, relationship changes, all those things happen it's just like okay whatever during that time i end up dealing with some sinus issues that you guys oh that was a situation like i never had issues with my sinus but my mom did and i used to you know be like is it really that bad y'all it is bad okay it is bad i do not like sinus the headaches the dripping the clog of your nose, all that, I don't like that. Mine was bad. The headaches was on a whole nother level. And then it went to pains in my neck, in my back, just from my sinus, so I thought. But my sinus paid a good part in it, and that was just like a no-no. Didn't like it, so that was me going with my sinus, going back and forth to the hospital and the doctor because the headaches were so bad. It was like someone was punching me consistently in the same spot on this right side of my head over and over again so taking different um medicines during that time one of when i went to an urgent care one of the doctors pretty much lied found out she lied in my record 
lied in my record about a couple of things and I'm already a little hesitant when it comes to doctors because of you know different experience not all doctors are friendly not all doctors care you know so I was already a little hesitant and then that situation happened I just really did not want to go back to the doctor but the headaches was something else so then finally the headaches stopped and then I end up getting a phone call that I had a job and so I started working my job and you guys let me tell you I'm not gonna say what feel it is and what position it was but let me tell you that it was very very extremely stressful okay to the point that I end up getting sick that's how much stress it was okay end up getting sick but before that I had made a commitment to myself and God that I was going to start my own business because I always wanted to work for myself that's just me I always been that girl in high school where everybody else you know they wanted to be doctors lawyers yada 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 for me on my paperwork I said I wanted to go to school get my bachelor's degree in business and then open my own business that was always me so I was like I'm going to go ahead and step out because I'm helping people with their business getting their business up and going sharing business tips with them why not make it a business you know start my business and keep it moving so I had started that process and got it underway and then the opportunity to work obviously when you first starting off a business you don't have that much money so I still need to take care of myself because no one is going to take care of me so I got the job like I said it was extremely fast stress stressful can't even talk that's how crazy when I think about it it was extremely stressful you guys like very very stressful okay very very stressful and I'm getting sick and a lot of things happened within me working that and I learned a lot of things it was very helpful um I learned a lot of things it opened my eyes to a lot of different things that is happening and transpiring met some really amazing people um really really amazing people and I actually enjoyed 90% of it but there were some things that I didn't enjoy that I didn't enjoy that um I was like okay that portion is not for me but everything else was for me and they love what I was doing and how I was communicating with you know the people that I was working with so that was a huge plus it opened my eyes to a lot of different things and it let me know that you know I can pretty much do anything I put my mind to anything that you give me I can do it and I can do it very successfully but then there's some things that I know I need to work on and that's just with anything that you do you know certain things you are going to do extremely well and then certain things you're not going to do well and you need to work on certain things when it comes to that area so that was something that I learned in that situation so then I was dealing with that this is all 2020 dealing with that and then I had a major flare up because I was dealing with sinus issues. My eye got extremely red and irritated to the point where I could barely see out of it. One night I ended up waking up because I was in so much pain with my neck and my head ended up waking up. I had walked over to a different room and then I had came back into my room and you guys my neck locked up on me they had to call 911 I was rushed to the hospital got to the hospital they was like oh, why have you been dealing with you know these headaches and I'm um, basically trying to figure out what was wrong with me all of those things and they gave me pain medicine sent me home my eye was still inflamed they did not deal with my eye at the hospital and it was extremely red ended up having to go to an eye doctor Gave me some medicine, cleared my eye up. Then my eye, you guys got, yeah, cleared my eye up. Then my right leg did the same thing that my left leg had did back in 2019. We caught the right leg just, just in time, went to urgent care. They gave me some antibiotics that wasn't working. I had to go to the emergency room 
and they told me it was called cellulitis and you know with fluid in your leg and um they gave me the appropriate medicine and it went away and told me things that i can do to make sure you know it doesn't come back you know keep moving different things like that so that was very helpful with that but then my eye was still red you guys it didn't it it wasn't like this eye which is clear this i still have a little tint of red in the corner but um it went away enough where i can see normal like now so then come 2021 20, now my eye get infected again super red going back to the fourth to the eye doctor he ended up saying you know what i have to refer you to somebody else now that's when the breakdown happened got back in the car and just cried because it was like at that point you just tired of being sick you don't know why your body's inflamed because that's what it was inflamed obviously i know about the that situation but that had nothing to do with this so that was like the little breakdown so i go to a different eye doctor going from doctor to doctor to doctor because by that point i was going to my regular doctor i was going to an eye doctor and a surgeon so going to all these doctors it took my eye doctor to say you know what let's do some blood work you guys he did a bunch of blood work come to find out all of this inflamedness was because i had lime in my blood now remember i said at the beginning that i had moved so the moving when in the process of moving where i moved from there was deers and all of that that used to come up to the windows the doors be at the trash can so i got bit by a tick did not know i got bit by a tick but i do remember one day that i was walking and i walked into an ant hill so and it was ants like all over my leg and i had to you know wash all that so that could have been it could have been taking that process of that anything i remember that but i remember also when we would cut the grass and stuff go out there cutting the grass and stuff like that when i would be out there helping that could have been the situation so got bit by a tick there was lime in my blood so they treated me for that and when i tell you now that i am like a hundred percent better i'm not tired like i used to be i can function i feel like myself again so no one knew that lime can make you sick sick um i actually just recently found out that lime can kill you so i'm happy that we was going to the doctor even though all that happened we was going to the doctor getting taken care of that we caught it that he caught it when my other doctors didn't and the crazy thing is the other doctor was taking my blood too but yeah that's a whole nother situation but yeah i'm happy he caught it when he caught it and i'm doing a lot better my eyes not inflamed except for with all this dag on pollen it irritates me but i make sure that i completely wash my face and all that so that it won't be no issue so then like i said seeing a surgeon because during that time um at the end of 2020 i did have a really bad flare-up to the point where i needed to see a surgeon so seeing a surgeon the left arm she did say is my bad arm and that eventually i will have to decide between um infusion treatments or having surgery to remove that one but the other areas is not bad like this arm so that is something that i am dealing with and going through right now and so you guys this is why i have not been filming like i was supposed to because all of this was happening i did not have no energy to upload a video to sit and record a video and when i would record videos you can just see that i was not into it that i was tired so i have a lot of videos that i recorded but it's just not it's not good enough to go up like this update video i recorded when she asked me to do this update video i recorded one last year it just 
it wasn't about the right i didn't have the energy i didn't like i was tired you guys i didn't like and there was no reason to put it up and i was forcing myself to do it so i was like no i gotta stop and so i did one part and then waited like a week or two and tried to record the last part and it just didn't go together so i was like you know what i'm gonna wait till i'm feeling better and then do this video so this is why the update video is so late this is why i have not been uploading videos like i supposed to because you guys i was really going through it was days where i was in the dark sleeping pretty much 24 hours sometimes 18 hours even in between my work i would take naps and sleep i pretty much the only time i was up was to work eat shower that's it like it was hard to do my job it was hard to live life do different things that i need to do because all i wanted to do was sleep so that is what i was going through that is why i wasn't uploading consistently like i was supposed to it didn't you know have anything to do with me because i love sitting down recording and sharing different things with you guys but when you are going through in your body you guys it it takes a toll on you mentally physically emotionally and you just you out of it so that is why i have not been you know uploading videos and that is everything that have been going on in my life i did enroll back into school for a semester i haven't enrolled back into school yet because of everything that's going on um still debating if i want to um you know enroll back in school to school with everything that's going on i am doing my business that stuff is in the description box down below everything you need to know i will have a separate video coming on that soon what else update on my hs is coming soon on um, more hair videos makeup videos um fashion videos i'm getting back into that you guys for a good portion of this whole time me going through this, I was living in white tees, leggings, or sweats, you guys. I was even wearing tennis shoes. And anybody that know me know that I am not the sneaker type of girl. That ain't my judge. I can't even name a sneaker besides Jordans. You know, that's not my judge. Anybody that know me. So that's how bad it was. I wasn't doing my hair. Wasn't putting on no makeup. Like, I was not shanties okay i wasn't myself um i had to force myself at times to get all you know situated so that is what was going on so now i am back to myself if you have any questions let me know anything you want to know let me know i hope i didn't leave anything out i don't think yeah i don't think i left anything out yeah, because I made little notes so I can stay on track. Didn't leave anything out. So that is pretty much what I am going through. Um, currently, you guys, your girl's trying to decide, you know, where she wants to move to. Because I do want to move. Decide where I want to move to. Um, you know, enjoy life. I want to do some traveling, but it got to be safe. A couple of places I want to travel to. Um, a couple of things that I want to check off my bucket list. Bucket list, a couple of things that I want to get into. So those are just some of the things that I am currently dealing with. Besides my master's, I definitely want to get my master's. And in due time, I will get that. And I will share that with you guys as well. Also, if you want me to do a video on my college experience and different tips and things that I have learned please let me know and I will share that with you guys because I don't think I did that video and uploaded. it I don't know I may have I don't know I gotta look into it you guys it was just a lot going on during that time and I was trying to do videos and I couldn't I have more hair review videos coming more product review videos coming I do have some cooking videos coming because me dealing with my health issue is best for me to cook my own meals than to eat fast food or eat at restaurants, especially with the salt intake. So I have those coming to share with you guys. So just stay tuned, you guys. It is coming. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified. Make sure you follow me on all my social media links. They are down below and they are also on the bar in my banner. I love you guys. You guys be safe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye you guys.